Hey guys, so, all right, uh, last update. Um, what you guys saw was weathering the storms and stuff and I just had a sunny day. I met a fan for lunch and she adopted me for two days. Her name is Patricia. And so I gotta stay at her house for two days weathering the storms and stuff. I gotta get caught up on all sorts of stuff and I gotta like, upload some videos that you guys probably saw. Um, and she, I mean, I mean, just wonderful, wonderful lady. I mean, she fed me. At, like constantly and got mad at me if I forgot to eat when I was working on stuff uh, Played some poker and uh, she kicked my butt and then one night, you know, I mean she went to bed early But you know, I was clearly winning. That's all I'm saying, but uh <laughs> So I mean just an awesome lady and Patricia again. Thank you so much for taking me in um, Yeah, so well she dropped me off here today is uh, the 18th of January and I'm going to be backpacking across the seven mile bridge today. So this is gonna be pretty fun. I'm gonna film the whole thing for you too. And it's like perfect day for it. Let me show you. Just, I mean, I know what you're thinking. It's like, oh, it's not sunny. Well, the thing is uh, no shade on the seven mile bridge. So yeah, it's kind of nice for me. So it's like cloudy and you know, it's cooler out. So. Should be a pretty good trek, and it's like, you know, again, filming the whole thing for you guys to enjoy. So, all right, well, I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, all right. Well, I did it. I made it past uh, the seven mile bridge. I now know why they call it marathon because it takes one to get here. Oh, yeah, but definitely getting uh, stronger in my legs because you know, you know, even back on US one, like you know, when I was going like up to Big Pine, it was like you know, I'd walk like half an hour and take a break. And uh, well, now I just did seven miles straight, non-stop. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty beat, but uh, yeah, definitely getting stronger. So that's cool. But, yep, now I get to explore marathon. All right, well, see you in a little bit. All right, hey guys. Okay, so, uh, again, I'm in marathon. I just, uh, well, I, I stopped by the turtle hospital. I'm kinda, kinda sad. It's like, they, I guess they don't accept volunteers and stuff, because that's where I really wanted to volunteer for my birthday, but I'll find something to do. Um, yeah, and it was really cool. I also stopped by this uh, little pizza shop. It's called a uh, Seven Mile Pizzeria, and met the guy there. His name's Angel, and a uh, uh, really cool dude. And he's like, I went to pay for my pizza. He says, don't worry about it. It's like, you know, I'm like, really? He's like, yeah, yeah, no problem. It's free for you. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. And uh, then it's like, uh, you know, it's the one thing. It's like I'm kind of having trouble with. It's like. So far, I mean, Marathon doesn't have like a lot of green areas to hide and camp at. So it's like, I mean, right now I'm at like the park area. And it's like, I mean, there's still not a lot of green. I mean, they got a really cool park. I mean, say so they got like a skate park, they got um, a soccer field, ba a basketball area. It's just like an awesome park. Uh, but again, not a lot of green. So I'm kind of like right on the edge, um, kind of hiding out. <laughs> Um, I'm working on couch surfing. Man, I just have not had any luck with couch surfing yet. Um, so, but hopefully, maybe it's like I'll get uh, someone to take me in again. But I mean, uh, thanks to Patricia, I mean, it's like I'm kind of well rested and clean for now. <laughs> again, Patricia, thank you so much. I cannot thank you enough for taking me in for the two days and letting me clean up, do my laundry, and feeding me so much. <laughs> and playing poker that was a lot of fun um, but yeah well let me show you the place I am right now it's like uh, it's actually kind of cool hang on a second let me get up here oh oh seven mile bridge kicked my ass <laughs> yeah it's like I mean definitely stronger but like those last two miles kind of kicked my butt a little bit okay so here, let me step out of here real quick I'm trying to like, kind of keep a low profile since it's still light right now so So again, it's like a building right here. So it's kind of like I got wind protection from there. I don't even know what it is yet. I should haul a check in the morning. But 
little cool tree kind of curves around in a circle. Like, well, maybe that's what I'll do tomorrow because I mean, there's a lot of garbage back here, so I might just, I don't know, maybe I'll get a bag and just clean it up. Hey, whatever it does, whatever it takes to make a little better place, right? So, <laughs> um, but yeah, so got my, I'm just gonna be sleeping back here tonight. Yeah, so. Well, that's my house for the night, but uh, I think tomorrow I will probably go back to the Turtle Hospital because um, they got some really cool stuff there. I mean, it's like the I saw the leatherback sea turtle shell, and it's like big as a wall. It's like you just don't get a like idea of this stuff until you see it in person. Like, I mean, see it on TV it was one thing, but seeing it in person is a whole other thing. It's like, I mean, I have a degree in wildlife biology, and like, I mean, I didn't have a like image in my head of a leatherback sea turtle how big it actually is eight I can get up to 800 plus pounds <laughs> and it's like the shell is enormous i got a picture of it online you guys have to check that out but so well, i'm gonna wrap this up and then i'm gonna probably settle down do some reading and whatnot but i'll see you guys tomorrow all right bye hey guys well made it through the night uh well uh today is my birthday you know one kind of funny thing is, it's like, uh, it typically snows on my birthday, and today is actually kind of colder. I mean, we're still in the Florida Keys, but, like, it's in the 50s. <laughs> so, but, yeah, I thought that was kind of funny. But, yeah, made it through the night. Um, today, like, for my birthday, I think I'm going to see if I can volunteer somewhere. Um, and if I can't find anywhere, I'll just probably, I don't know, pick up trash off the road or something like that, because all I want for my birthday anymore is just, like, you know, another good memory, because, uh, you know, I've already got my birthday wish that I wished for for years, you know, I'm living the dream, so. Uh, yep, so probably going to go check out the Turtle Hospital today, and uh, I don't know, I, I've actually, I'm, I'm going to be meeting a couple people for lunch too, it's like uh, one on couch surfing and another um, I just met yesterday. Uh, the one girl, uh, she actually writes for uh, chicken, uh, chicken Soup for the Soul, so uh, that's pretty cool, so yeah, we're going to have lunch, and then uh, the other one's uh, couch surfing, so. I don't know, maybe I'll find another place to stay tonight. If not, no biggie. It's like, uh, not a lot of green here in Marathon, so I don't know. I was gonna stay here a while, but I might just check out the two places I wanna check out, the Turtle Hospital and the Dolphin Research Center, and then keep moving, because I know there's like a big kind of, a, well, big state park-ish area that's like nothing but green, so might uh, work my way up there, and then, I don't know, see how it goes. Definitely gonna go to the library today. I gotta charge up some charging my phone and stuff because I'm almost out of battery but uh yep so guess I'll talk to you guys later hey guys all right so uh well didn't do any more video yesterday but it's like I had a pretty awesome birthday uh I met up with Amanda it's like I met her the day before um she writes for uh, chicken soup for the soul and she took me out to lunch and yeah so basically I've got another lifelong friend. So, <laughs> then after that I went out um, with these people I met from couch surfing. Uh, this one girl um, named Miranda, she um, actually just got done uh, hitchhiking across the US like for six months. And so I got to hang out with them. Uh, these two guys um, that are also hiking like, you know, through like Florida right now. It's like um, one's called Ewok, the other one's called Lightning Jacks. They got awesome road names. Uh, let's see, and I also met um, Miranda's boyfriend Chris, who's hiked the Appalachian Trail twice, and another guy named Sherlock, who I think I believe did it with uh, him too. Uh, so, yeah, pretty cool birthday. Got to hang out with some pretty cool people. Uh, uh, today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the library and you know do some more writing and uploading and stuff, and then um, I'm going to go to the Turtle Hospital and. It's like, because I wanted to check that out, but yesterday I couldn't because I was uploading a video and it was just like literally taking forever. But, um, and then um, we're actually going to meet up with Amanda again. We're probably going to go for a bike ride and look around the island and then uh, maybe hit up the Dolphin Research Center too. So, see how that goes. But, all right. So, yeah, pretty good birthday and pretty happy. Hey guys. Yeah, kind of look like I'm on the first day, right? Well, uh, let's see, I can't remember the last diary entry, but uh, I went to the, <laughs> wow, I look awful. Uh, I went to the Turtle Hospital today. Um, it's like I kind of got like a late start. I actually missed the, like the 11 o'clock one because I was charging my stuff up because like, you know, all my batteries were dead. 
So charging them up and they just take forever to charge. It's like I only got to about 70% on my phone. And then, so I went to the Turtle Hospital and then uh, made it up to the post office and then I had to beat feet up to this place called uh, Fat Deer Key. That's where I'm at now. I'm so sore, I'm almost feeling sick. Uh, it's like I, I really had to push myself to get here because it's like the reason I did it is because there's a storm coming on like well late tonight about 2 a.m. Uh, another big one um, big thunderstorm so I'm just gonna rest here for the next day honestly I would rest here even if it wasn't gonna thunderstorm because I am so freaking tired and sore like oh my feet hurt <laughs> my back hurts my shoulders really hurt <laughs> But yeah, I got a pretty good little setup here. So I'm getting ready to put up the hammock. But all right, well, I'll update you guys tomorrow. Woo. Hey guys, all right, so made it through the night. Uh, yeah, well, let me show you my campsite. Uh, yeah, da, 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 da. yeah, it's like, yeah, you can see like the road's just kind of right there, but like, it's that fat deer key. I'm gonna go under. Yeah. So kind of cool. But, I keep zooming in. But yeah, got a nice little setup here. So hammocks all protected. Got all my stuff. That's my backpack. I covered it in a trash bag to like you know double waterproof it. You know. But yeah. So made it through the night and. I guess the weatherman was wrong again because it was supposed to like thunderstorm rain like all day, but of course it's Just kind of cool and nice out, but I swore to myself like You know after yesterday how hard I worked like getting here. I was like it doesn't matter. I'm, gonna, I'm taking the day off <laughs> So Yeah, that's one thing I like about this trip is it really doesn't matter uh, I'm not rushing or anything. I can take breaks when I want to so that's kind of nice to, yeah, taking the day off, I'm just gonna write and relax, and then tomorrow I'll get back on the road and keep moving up to Island Rama. And, yep, we'll go from there. All right, see you guys. Hey guys, it's uh, been a few days. Today's Sunday. Uh, been a pretty good uh, trip so far. Uh, got, uh, <laughs> yesterday was pretty awesome. Uh, like I was hiking at the end of marathon, I was gonna go to this place called uh, Long Key. That was my goal for the day. It was already midday, and I still had about like 10 miles to go, so it been like a tough trek, but not impossible. But um, this guy backs up to me and says, "Hey, what you doing?" So I'm going backpacking across America, doing all 50 states. And he says, "Well, where are you headed?" And I'm like, "Well, I'm working my way up to um, Islam Rama." Is no, wait. I always have a hard time seeing this island. Uh, Islam Morada. Yeah, that's it. Because, um, like, yeah, that's the big, bigger island with states, like a bigger island with a uh, place I could, like, resupply and stuff. He says, hop in, I'm heading to Key Largo. And so, uh, gives me a ride and everything, we get talking and everything. Uh, his name was uh, Aman. And uh, he buys me lunch, uh, shows me around, and, well, offers me a job at one of his brother's restaurants. I politely decline because, you know, it's like, uh, I want to get a job on a boat. You know, it's like kind of. I get jobs related to the state, but uh, yeah. And then he says, "Just give me a call if you need anything—a ride or you know, a place to stay or anything." And so yeah, really cool guy. But yeah, I'm up in uh, Islam Morada now. I have the hardest time saying that one. <laughs> but uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get ready to go to church because for once I'm actually near a church. And then um, after that, I'm going to go. Let's see, probably up to the post office and send some more postcards and like uh, I've decided I'm gonna get like a pack of cards in each state you know cause I like poker and stuff <laughs> so and then uh, then I'm gonna work my way up to the next library and that's in Key Largo so I should be able to make it to Key Largo today so that's gonna be kind of cool so all right well I'll talk to you guys later bye hey everybody okay so I don't know if anybody's ever had this experience before but like uh, do you ever have that feeling where you feel you're exactly where you're supposed to be and doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing well today that happened to me <laughs> um, the epicness of today cannot be understated okay so 
one of the things about my trip is I, like, I mean, I have a lot of reasons for the trip, but one of them is to get stronger in my faith, right? So I, one of the things I'm doing is I'm stopping at different churches along the way. And, you know, it's like, well, basically first what I'm doing is, let's check that zoom real quick. I guess that's right. Yeah. Kind of awkward camera angle. Hang on, let me switch hands. Um, anyway, there we go. Um, what I'm doing is I stop at, well, first I re I'm reading the Bible, right? You know, it's like I'm, I try to do like, well, I should, I should read more. But um, what I'm doing is uh, I read like a chapter, right? And if I have any questions about it, I write them down. And then I, you know, kind of put like what I think it means. And then my next step is I stop at different churches along the way and I ask the pastor. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop and uh, research like a library or something because like, you know, taking one person's opinion is like at, from a research standpoint is not smart. You, you don't just take like one person's point of view. Um, that's the kind of like the scientist part of me. Um, so I'm going to research like the questions and so like, you know, kind of cross check the pastor too. And then I'm going to put my own point of view of like what I believe it means. So really diving into the research of the Bible and stuff, but again, stopping at these different churches, different denominations too. I'm not just doing like, you know, one set of um, Christianity. I'm doing like all sorts of kinds, but long story short, <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, I went to this one church. I was like actually fortunate because like the first like few weeks here, it's like I haven't been like really near a church um, because like, you know, I mean, a couple miles is actually, you know, a decent bit like on the road, you know, especially with an 80 pound pack. So, I mean, this is the first church that I was like been like really close to. And so I went to church today and they invited me in and okay, well, first cool part. Um, I get there and everything. And of course, everyone wants to talk to me because <laughs> uh, again, they see the backpack and everything. And I got there for like the early service, like about like halfway through it. And uh, afterwards it's like, well, First the offering comes around, right? And you know, I had about like three to four bucks in my like wallet left. And so I put it in there. And I was like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm okay for cash right now. It's like, but um, I'll, I'll get to that later. But it's like, you know, I've, I've got like 300 bucks or something like that left. Um, I'm getting jobs along the way. If those of you see my site and everything, but, but so it's like, you know, I was like, I even thought like, man, I'm gonna stop at an ATM somewhere. And so three to four bucks in the offering. I don't, I don't think twice about it. Just kind of throw it in there. And and so these people get talking with me and everything, you know, asking about my trip and everything. And then there's two ladies. This is at St. James the Fisherman Episcopal Church. This is where I was at. These two ladies get talking with me. One of them gives me a 20, one of them gives me a 10. So God multiplied the blessing. Oh, it gets better. Okay. Um, down the road, you know, after I talk with the pastor and everything, I actually got to film the next service. And then I'll put that like in my... Um, one of the, my next videos is uh, sermons with Seth. That's one of the like you know things I'm doing on the trip. But down the road, um, I stop for lunch and I just like take a break. I'm underneath this tree and this one random guy comes up to me, gives me bucks. Hey, get yourself a cup of coffee. I'm like, hey, thank you. And so you know, I rest, eat lunch, and I go grab a cup of coffee. And the guy's sitting there. His name was Henry, and he was originally from New York and lives down here. And we we talked for like a few hours. But there was another guy that again saw me like when I was in line getting the coffee and everything. And what happened was, you know, he you know, was like, wow, that's awesome. You know, we got talking and everything about what I'm doing, you know, like all 50 states. And he comes out and he gives me a 20. <laughs> so four bucks in the offering and I made, I'm given $50 today. So God seriously blesses those who pays their ties but it's like I mean I really believe that like you know God is like you know blessing me for doing what I'm supposed to be doing and that was like this this is the first day like that I actually got to go to a church and everything and you know that was one of the things I wanted to do along the way was get stronger in my faith and it's just kind of like you know he's like blessing me non-stop <laughs> So it was like, it was really funny too, because it's like one of the things I was thinking, because like, you know, they had communion today. So I went up, you know, I got the blessing and everything. And I was thinking, because like, you know, I went, the second service was the one I filmed, and they did communion again. And I'm like, oh man, 
is like if someone like asked me to go back up there, it's kind of like, I don't know, man. God blesses me much more. He's probably going to take me. <laughs> so, yeah, but I mean, and then, you know, it's like after all that and whatnot is like, I find this little offshoot, okay, I'm walking along and everything. That was kind of one of the things I was worried about today was uh, finding a place to stay. Um, and you know, I'm walking along, walking along. I see this little offshoot, just kind of like, you know, I don't know where. And I, I mean, this is probably like one of my favorite campsites. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys this. This is pretty epic, hang on. Let me just flip the camera on. All right. So, yeah, I'm just kind of in the woods, right? In the woods, in the woods, in the woods, and ba-bam! My hammock is right by this epic lake over here. Okay, check this out. It's like a drop off and everything. Yeah. <laughs> Just this little offshoot off the road. I'm like in the, okay. I, I really have a hard time saying these like island names. It's like Tavernier, I think is what it's called. But yeah, there's this little offshoot. It's like, I mean, just gorgeous little solo lake absolutely beautiful and I set my hammock up right next to it uh, <laughs> how freaking cool is that right uh, so I mean I think what today was gonna uh, today's gonna be a good chapter in the book I think <laughs> so yeah but yeah that's my setup for today and um, Tomorrow I'm going to try to find a library and you know, charge up all my stuff because my batteries are kind of getting low because it's been a little while since I've charged anything. Uh, but it's just been like non-stop. Like, I know God's got my back on this journey because like he won't stop blessing me. So yeah, it's like I, I definitely feel I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing and really happy doing it. <laughs> so all right, guys. Well, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> God bless. Feeling my way through the darkness Guided by a beating heart I can't tell where the journey will end But I know where to start They tell me I'm too young to understand They say I'm caught up in a 